Hello and welcome to my channel. It's such a sunny day outside, really beautiful, so I am going to sit in a dark room and edit some of your photos because that is what I'm prepared to do for you, <laughs> my dear audience. I asked you to send in some photos for me to edit and I got so, so many. Thank you so much. I was a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I It's gonna be a little bit impossible to edit all of them, but thank you so much for sending them. Um, but I'm gonna try to pick some examples and give you some tips so you can hopefully get some value out of this. So even if I don't edit your photo, you'll still get some tricks and things that you can use for your own photos. Um, really excited about this. So let's just uh, jump straight into it. All right, <laughs> let's get to editing. I already did a bunch in the morning, uh, so I'll show you all of those uh, at the end. But I'll first, I'll just choose some examples and sort of show you some of the basic things that really small tweaks that you can use in your photos to make them go from sort of plain to really wow and really elevate them. Um, so I edit all my photos in Lightroom and that is the program we're going to use for this as well. You can download that on your laptop and also there is an app that you can download on your mobile phone. And then best thing is if you can, if you have a camera to shoot in raw format because then you have the most information to play around with when you edit. But also a bunch of you sent in them just as JPEGs which was totally fine as well. And we're just going to start with this one. So this is a really simple portrait. It's really beautiful, has a really intimate mood. So the first thing I will do is I will just put up the exposure a little bit. And what tends to happen, especially if it's JPEG, when you up the exposure, is it tends to get a little washed out and too white. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. And what you can then do is you can drag the highlights down a little bit and the shadows up instead. And just try to make sure that these white parts doesn't get too washed out so you lose a lot of the details. Next up, when I've just done that, like sort of basic tweaks, I will go in this curved section. And usually what I like to do, so you have the highlights here on the right side up here, and then basically the shadows here on the left side. And what I usually like to do is I'll raise the highlights a little bit, drag this point down a little bit, and then you can see it got a little bit too white again. So then we'll just add a little bit of information in there in the shadows. And usually what I like to do is also take up the most dark point a little bit. So all the blacks will just be a little bit more dark uh, gray instead of totally black. All right, this looks pretty nice. Already you can see a big difference. Then uh, I think the guinea pig is super cute. So I will go in with the brush tool and I will pick a size 16.9. All right, then I will click the little plus sign here and I just want to make it a little bit more bright and exposed here around the guinea pig. Also maybe shadows, a little bit more exposed. So right around here, just to add a little bit more focus to the actual guinea pig in this photo. All right, we're gonna go back to the curves now. And what I like to do is just go through all these curves and the same basic rule applies. So you will have the highlights up here to the right and then the shadows down to the left. And here, um, I usually like in general to have a more green bluish tone in the shadows and a warmer tone in the highlights, but this will depend a lot on what photo you're working with. So you kind of have to try it out. As you can see here, now it gets quite green and bluish in the shadows. I think that's a little too much. And then you can balance that out with having a little bit of a more warm tone here in the highlights. Next up, I'm gonna edit this very simple portrait. I think this is so beautiful and has a very serene mood to it and the way uh, she's used glitter and she just has a plain white background. So here we really want to add a lot of depth and the colors are gonna be so, so crucial. So again, first thing I will do, I will just raise exposure just slightly. It's not too dark, this photo, so it doesn't need to have too much. And again, take down, I think, the whites just a tiny bit. Next up, we'll go here again to the point curve um, and just see if we need to maybe, yeah, put back some of the shadows, I think, to just add a little bit more depth to the photo. Then I think I want to have it, yes, be a little bit more warm, but then in here, I'm going to add 
a little bit of blue, I think, in the background. I think that will look pretty cool. Also for portraits, I think I'm going to switch this over to be 4x5 instead. Um, just because all this white negative space here in the sides doesn't really add to the photo, I feel. So in this case, I think um, it works better to just have it be just completely centered. And again, I'll go in and with just a brush, I want to expose, add a little bit of exposure here to her face. Instead, it got a little weird to sit in there, a little bit creepy. So let's <laughs> let's uh, tackle the next one. Oh, what's happening here? All right, all right. Next up, we're gonna edit this photo. I think it's like beautiful colors. But first of all, I will go in here and I will um, straighten it because it's a little bit crooked the lines, and unfortunately, because there isn't so much space here on the right side. So um, I'm gonna have to crop it a little bit. So something like this. So I'm gonna have to crop it quite tight. Also try to, when you crop out things, to not cut off limbs of people. That looks a little bit funny. Um, okay, and we're gonna go and see here. So there's all these geometry tools that you can use. So there is distortion vertical horizontal. So these planes, just to correct it a little bit, so we get those really straight lines, that just makes it look much more professional. Wait, let's see. Okay, so this looks already better. All right, let's go with this and we'll see if we'll crop it more. All right, and here is how the end result turned out. One thing when you take photos with your phone, for example, they will usually look a little white and a little bit overexposed easily. Uh, so one really good tool for that is to go in and lower the exposure a little bit and lower the highlights a little bit. But then if you think it's too dark, you can instead lift the shadows uh, a little bit. And again, with this curve tool, you can do a lot of manipulations. And also one really, really good thing uh, you can use here is this color mixel mixer uh, panel and here you have this slider called luminance so if you have something for example a field like this one uh, where it's all very green and uh, yellow you can then go in here and you can choose the green color and then you can lower the luminance and then you'll just get more of that depth and it will look like a photo taken with a more expensive camera and do the same with the yellows and depending on what color is really that dominant color that makes it all look a little washed out, you can go and experiment with that and just lower the luminance a little bit. And on the other hand, if something is very dark, a certain color, for example, skin tones sometimes, they look a little bit dark, you can go into this orange one, sometimes it's a red one, usually it's the orange one or the yellow one, and then you can instead raise the luminance a little bit. <laughs> 